Hey Nintendo fans, it's Jay Woods here, and welcome to Nintendo News, where we, as a group, can join together as Nintendo fans and throw away our wallets, because clearly we won't be needing them anytime soon. So far this week, there's been a lot of really good news for Super Smash Bros. For one, the Super Smash Bros. 3DS title has already sold 2.8 million copies worldwide, which is great for a 3DS launch. And, in light of this, we've also finally gotten the launch date for Super Smash Bros. for Wii U. It's interesting, actually. We're getting it first in the United States on November 21st, followed by Europe on December 5th, and then Japan and Australia on December 6th. Now, while I am excited, being someone from the United States, getting a game in the United States before the rest of the world, especially a major global release like Super Smash Bros. for Wii U, but, and it's a pretty big but, there's a problem here. This is the exact same day that Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire comes out for 3DS. So if you're a fan of both franchises, like I am, obviously, Mario, Pokemon, it's gonna be one wild day. That's why I threw my wallet out earlier, is because of the money that I'd lose from buying all this at once. The purchases. But that's not the only thing coming out on the 21st, because Nintendo has already announced 12 upcoming amiibo figures that will be available, which will have communication from the figure into the game through Near Field Connection. The opening line of figures available on November 21st includes Mario, Link, Samus, Kirby, Fox, Donkey Kong, Pikachu, Peach, Marth, Yoshi, Villager, and the Wii Fit Trainer. But just recently announced were another batch of amiibo figures coming sometime in December, and that includes Diddy Kong, Zelda, Luigi, Captain Falcon, Pit, and Little Mac. Nintendo has announced that their intention is to get a figure out for every single Smash Bros. character within the game, but with 18 figures coming out before the end of the year, I'm sure they're going to have a pretty busy holiday season. Oh yeah, and speaking of December, Captain Toad has also been announced as a $40 retail title coming out December 5th. Captain Toad is supposed to also support amiibo functionality, but not until 2015. If you've tried to use your 3DS online recently, chances are likely that you've gotten the newest update for the 3DS, which allows you to customize your home screen. Through this update, there's now a variety of ways you can update the look of your home screen, both with free themes, which are just different color changes, or through some more interactive ones that you can purchase on the eShop. The exclusive themes aren't exactly the deal of the year at around $1 to $2 each, but if you're getting bored with your home screen, there's a lot of cool things you can do, such as adding music, animations, and special folder icons, depending on which one you purchase. In Pokemon news, Pokemon has gone wild with Halloween fever, and all across the month of October and early November, there are a ton of distribution Pokemon to be gotten. For starters, there's Pumpkaboo, who's holding a rocky helmet, and will also evolve into a super-sized Gorgeist if you trade it with someone else. Pumpkaboo is available during the entire month of October. Then, there's yet another promotion with GameStop, where you can get a shiny Gengar holding a Gengarite from GameStop stores. You can get a code to download this special Gengar from GameStop stores between October 13th and October 26th. Then, following up with your download of Mega Shiny Gengar, you can head back to GameStop between October 27th and November 16th for a code card to receive the mythical Pokémon Dianchi. I'm sure there'll be other ways overseas where you guys can collect some of those special GameStop promotion Pokémon, but it is exciting that we're finally going to get Dianchi. Dianchi's been confirmed to also have a Mega Evolution coming in Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, so it's gonna be worth picking up. In Pokémon trading card game news, the Pokémon trading card game online client is finally available for iPad. Now, I do believe that it's available only for iPads with Retina Display. I know some people have been confused and unfortunately disappointed by not being able to get the right version of the game. But even if you don't own an iPad, the game has always been available for both Mac and PC, completely free to download. As part of a fun promotion with the Pokemon Company International, I actually have an exclusive code that you can use either on the desktop or iPad version of the game for a completely free pack in the game. That's Jaywitz. Dash Pokemon dash TCGO that you can enter when you would normally redeem codes for any other kind of pack. I've gotten a ton of awesome fans that have already used this code and told me that they were able to pull a Pokemon EX out of their free pack, and that's fantastic. The Pokemon Trading Card Game Online client is completely free to use, and if you do use it and use my code, be sure to let me know in the comment section below what you got from your free pack. It does expire this Friday, so if you're interested, be sure to put it in soon. And finally in Pokemon news, Rayquaza has been revealed to have a Mega Evolution. Yes, you heard that right. This isn't the primal de-evolution thing that you've seen with both Groudon and Kyogre. No, Rayquaza's getting a regular Mega Evolution. They have stated this is going to be through special means, but it is interesting that it's not going to be a primal form. 
Rayquaza, aside from getting a new Mandible of Justice, will also have a new ability called Delta Stream, which prevents other weather abilities from activating, and also forces all attacks that would normally deal weakness damage to a Flying-type Pokémon to only deal normal base damage. He'll also be getting the new signature attack, Dragon Ascent, which should be the most powerful Flying-type move of all time, specific to Rayquaza. Now while I'm sure Mega Rayquaza is going to be ridiculously overpowered and probably not allowed in competitive tournaments, I do believe this continues to confirm what I was stating earlier. While a lot of people are waiting for a so-called Delta Emerald version of the game, I'm pretty sure Rayquaza having a spot both in Alpha Ruby and Omega Sapphire further proves that these games are going to include the elements that were already existing in Emerald. With just over a month for major releases like Smash Bros for Wii U and Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, alongside some smaller but also awesome releases coming at the end of October such as Fantasy Life and even Bayonetta 2, it's going to be a very busy holiday season for Nintendo owners, and that's definitely a good thing. I want to thank you guys for watching today's episode of Nintendo News. If you enjoyed it, as always, you can click right here to subscribe to this channel and get alerts right when my new videos are coming out. Until then, I will see you guys with the next episode of Nintendo News.